Hi, we are still in the kitchen. We had a great time with Terry on the last episode, and she had to go back to work. And so now I'm going to make three chilled soups. Super simple. We're getting into this nice weather. We can take advantage of the fresh produce and the fresh fruits and such. And really, very little cooking involved. This one is, I call it a guac soup. It's an avocado soup. So, slice through the avocado, give it a twist. And then we're just going to put, scoop it right out. Oh, smells like summertime. Smells like summertime. And we put our fresh avocado right in there. This is going to fight me, watch, because I'm trying to, yeah, see, it's not going to want to come out right. <laughs> That's all right. I can work around it. There we go. Now, it's almost a lot like when you make guacamole, you want your uh, avocado to be a little on the soft side. This one is a little firmer than I would like, but we can make it work, and it will taste wonderful. And that's the point. just might take a little bit of extra blending. Clear that off. A little, little bit of avocado on my hands. All right, and now we are going to zest. You know how I love to zest. I'm going to zest some lime in there. And you do want to kind of do this part of it quickly because if the pit's not sitting with the avocado, it will brown up on you pretty quick. So I want to get the zesting, and then I want to get some acid on there. That's what will prevent it from turning brown on you. And it seems like this is a weird angle. <laughs> I can't get it because it's a, there we go. Squeeze in. Don't even bother. Don't even need the juicer. Just going to squeeze that right in there. All that. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Fresh, fresh. Smells so good. This doesn't work as well when you do this with lemons because you tend to get a lot of seeds. But. Lime is a lot easier to do. We can do it by hand. Just keep squishing it in there. So at this point, you're thinking, well, she's making guacamole. Thought she said she was making soup. Get over there. And I'm going to add some sour cream. And what will make it a soup is when I get down, get this part mixed. And then I'm going to blend in some just some basic stock or broth. get that started and I'm going to use my one of my favorite kitchen gadgets my immersion blender Let's add a little bit of salt this is the red Hawaiian sea salt just just sparks the flavor up and I ground up a bunch of fresh pepper and just put it into a regular pepper thing so I've got it handy when I need it and the stock I'm going to add a little at a time because it's a consistency thing and da -da -da. Now I'm going to fight with my immersion blender. There we go. And we've been through this before, haven't we? All right. Just going to start mixing that in. So while I'm doing this, we have, we've got so much coming up. I mean, I've been talking about the Unicorn Festival a lot. You've probably seen the promos on OCTV. But we also have a wine dinner coming and another wedding. And scrapbooking, I'm going to set this here and keep talking. And of course, scrapbooking is, this is the place to scrapbook. We've got beautiful, a beautiful room, comfortable, ergonomic, adjustable chairs, so you're not going to have that backache from working all day. Hot lights, so you can really concentrate on what you're doing. And you can come for a day, you can come for an overnight, you can come for a weekend. It really is a beautiful, beautiful place to be creative. Scrapbooking, various crafts, beadwork, card making, you know, you're only limited by your imagination, I suppose. Add a little bit more. 
So definitely when you get ready to start booking your getaways and you get your friends together, give me a call. You can form your own group or sometimes when schedule allows it, we have open days here where you can come by yourself or just one or two friends. So. All right, so that's still a little bit thick, but you get the idea of what I'm doing here. And then we're gonna chill it off and then you just enjoy. So we need a little bit more of the stock, give it more of a soup consistency and it's fresh. And oh my goodness, it smells good. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna do something I don't often do, but that smells so good. I'm gonna taste it. Oh, yum. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. So I'm just going to set this in the fridge and let it chill and it'll firm up a little bit more when it chills. And we'll have guacamole soup or avocado soup, however you want to call it. So I'm going to transfer that to a container with a lid to put it in the fridge. So for right now, I'll set this right over here. And I'm going to get started. We'll probably finish up after the break, but we're going to start a cucumber soup. Now I love cucumbers, but cucumbers don't love me anymore. But a lot of times just being able to work with foods like this makes me very happy because I can completely enjoy them without any ill effects. So what I've done here is I took a cucumber and slivered, slivered it, you know, cut it very fine. And it's just been soaking in the fridge with some ice water, some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. And I'm going to drain that and press it. Oh, the smell. Oh, ho, ho. so see, I can live vicariously. You know, I, I've often said I, I can't handle heat. I can't eat jalapenos that sort of thing, but I love working with them. So, I mean, I don't limit what I serve you simply based on what I do or don't like, what I can or can't eat. Let's get that squeezed out. Oh, gosh, that smells good. That smells so good. And this one, whereas the, the avocado is gonna be smoother, this one is ultimately going to be thicker, you know, with the, because I'm not gonna cut the cucumbers down. We want that cucumber in there. But you could when you're all done. We're just not going to. So that is pretty much ready to rock and roll. See how simple that is? And I've lost all my st stirs. Here we go. Nice and fresh. And because I didn't have time to make my own stock this time, I'm just using stock off the shelf. And to this, if you want, you can add some sour cream. You don't have to, but you can. And see, it's gonna... I always like to do this a little at a time. Oh, and you know what I think would be absolutely lovely in there? Some lemon. This is so refreshing on a warm day. And you can make it up and throw it in the fridge. When we come back in the last segment, I'll serve everything out in the various fun containers. So check back with me in a few. I'm gonna finish this up, get it in the fridge, get it chilling, and I'll see you in a few. And we're back. Now I put the cucumber soup and the avocado soup in the fridge to chill. Um, during the break, we were 
messing around with the cucumber soup a little bit and it really needed some lemon juice so I squeezed half a fresh lemon into it. So we'll check it out after it's had a chance to chill. Now I'm going to do a fruit soup and to do this you kind of have to build a thickener. So I need two egg yolks. I'll do it over here. <laughs> I need just the yolks. Now you can retain the whites on this soup if you want and then beat them into kind of a meringue at the end and use them as a topping. But I obviously didn't plan for that today. So I'm just going to make a big old mess here. Just want to reserve the yolks. There we go. I will want to wipe that off because I spilled a little bit of egg and I don't want to have that cooking while it's on the stove. Now I'm going to add to the two egg yolks two tablespoons of cornstarch, which I already measured, and then start to mix that up. And then I'm going to drizzle water in just to kind of make it a, um, thin it out some. You know, stir it as much as you can, get the lumps out. And this is going to go on the stove and cook for about three minutes. But you want to make sure you get that blended well because you don't want to end up with scrambled eggs. Unless, of course, that's what you're going for. So, put that right over there. Let that go. And I'm going to start mixing some fruit. been using up all my bowls so I'll use a small casserole. Now these are all cleaned and ready to go, all washed and ready to go. And then oh, that is June in Michigan. Got to get over to Middleton's and do some picking. These are lovely. So I'm just going to slice up some fresh strawberries. And I'm going to hit this when we're done. I'm going to hit it with the immersion blender but gently because I want to have some integrity, I want it to have you know a little bit of something to chew. Don't want it to be completely liquid. These raspberries. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Now you can use any fruits that berries that you want with this. Blueberries, blackberries. I just decided to go with some red fruits today. Oh. I love things like this in the summer. I like to make it up, throw it in the fridge, and then dinner time rolls around. Something nice and cool and refreshing. And you know, you gotta think about summer too if you're cooking. If you can, um, get your cooking and everything done in, in the early part of the day before it gets warm. And then you'll be conserving on things like air conditioning because you're not standing over a hot stove at five o'clock in the afternoon trying to cook. And you can enjoy it. Like me, I'd take a big cup of this and go out and sit on the porch, which is where I spend most of the summer, either at home or here. There we go. And it, mm, smells like that just, just take me back. My neighbor next door had a beautiful raspberry patch. And he and his wife really didn't eat raspberries, so I would look forward to it coming in every, every year so I could go out and harvest them. Then the kids in the neighborhood discovered them, and I found that every year I was getting fewer berries because they were disappearing more quickly. But that's all right. I'm going to stick over here real quick and see what's happening here. And um, we've just had a misfire. We now have... Scrambled eggs. <laughs> that happens. That's not a problem. So I think what I'm going to do is start over. But I'm going to use a different pan. <laughs> and I think we're going to leave the eggs out this time. Let me grab the cornstarch. And we'll just make the paste up. <laughs> now look at it this way. 
I could stop. I could say, oh, got to start over. This is terrible. But if I'm in the middle of a dinner party, or if I have a group of ladies that are here scrapbooking, or if I'm in the middle of a wedding, I can't do that. So we just proceed. So let's just make the paste up straight. And leave the egg out completely. There we go. There we go. Kind of a kind of a thin paste. Much better. Saved again. Put a little bit of fresh lemon juice and of course a seed. One always escapes me. And a little bit of sea salt. And we're going to add this directly to our fruit without the scrambled egg. <laughs> And get my immersion blender out. I seem a little discombobulated today. That happens. But you know, like I said, if I'm in the middle of something, it's not like I could stop and run out to the store and start over and everything else. I'm on a schedule. So we just keep plugging along. I think we'll do this over here. Might have better luck. But as I've also always said, sometimes something doesn't turn out the way you want it, so you just don't make it again. There's that too. Almost. All right, let's do this over here. This is just not the right bowl for this, as you can tell. Oh, I just got so much smarter. Ha <laughs> ha. Transfer. Try not to wear it. There we go. Now I can blend. <laughs> you can see I'm making a very small quantity right now. I'm not wearing it. Oh, is that pretty? All righty then. And sometimes our methods just come up as we need them. So I'm going to taste this and see where we are as far as our acid and our sugar. Oh. Mm. That is wonderful. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it chill some. And then when we come back, I'm going to get a platter out. We're going to plate our soups and maybe we'll build a salad for the center. It'll be a nice centerpiece, an edible centerpiece. So come back in a few. I'll be here waiting for you. Hello, I'm Elgin Nichols, and I'm here to invite you to watch our weekly calendar of events on Charter 191 and AT&T Channel 99. Learn what local events are going on, and if you have a special event that you want our viewing audience to know about, call us at our TV station at 248-628-9658, or you can locate our dates and times for our program broadcast by going to our website, occtv.org. See you there. All right, here we are in front of American Legion Post 108 in Oxford. Now, every Friday between 12 and 8.30, they serve up some of the best fish in Michigan. Follow me inside. We're going to take a look around the post. All right, here we are now on the hall side of the post where you can get tables for anywhere to 6 to 30 people. And before or after you're done eating, take a walk around and browse through the second largest military museum in the state of Michigan. All right, now we're over on the restaurant side of the post where most of the fun happens, as you can see behind me. They've got darts, pool tables, 50-50 raffles, and any kind of fish you can think of, bait, cod, walleye, combo place, all right here at your beck and call.
You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the Village of Leonard. All right, we're going to put this all together now. And like I said, you wouldn't necessarily serve these all in a single meal, but for today, we're going to. And I'm going to make a salad as a centerpiece because all your garnishes and such should be edible anyway. And all my produce, of course, is washed. I did that all before you get here. I know it's fun to watch me, you know, make scrambled eggs when I don't intend to, but I don't think it's fun to watch me wash produce. So put that right in the center. Nice green. I think I'm going to give that a little bit of a... <laughs> See, like I said, you should use the juicer when you're doing lemons. Because I just got a couple seeds, but I got them out. All right, what else have I got here? Oh, I've got some nice tomatoes. And See, I like to do things from one meal to the next and use things up. And, you know, I, you, I don't like to waste. So let's get some tomatoes in here oh look at that red and green against the beautiful vintage serving tray I was just telling someone that back in the 40s and 50s these were this was the wedding gift to give beautiful serving trays so we could all be perfect housewives get some, some fresh cucumber kind of echo the soup a little bit I love doing salads like this when they're unexpected. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing or why. And it has been pointed out to me that I have not used any red onion today. So see, it is possible for me to make a meal without red onion. I'm probably blocking everything I'm doing here with this pitcher, aren't I? Oh well, it's just one of those days. Just kind of roll with it. You know what? <laughs> I think instead of cutting these down, we're just going to do that. That's pretty. And how about just a little bit of the sweet red pepper? Just kind of give us some thin slices. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, you notice I dress the greens and I'm not dressing the stuff on top. You could do it either way. But I figure, I think all the individual components just have such lovely flavor on their own that I like to have them stand out a bit more. Well, that's cool. All right. <laughs> now let's serve up some of our avocado soup. And I'm going to put this in the baby mason jars just because they're cute. Also, if you do this ahead of time, you can put the cap and such back on there and stick it in the fridge, and then it's all ready to go. Complete no-brainer. You don't have to think about it. You can just reach in, grab your soup, and you're ready to roll. You see, when I blended it down, I did make sure to leave some chunks, even a little bit of something. So this is almost halfway to a, to a dip, but I like it. Smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to be licking the bowl on this one, I'll tell you. It's a gorgeous color. Okay, we got that. Set this aside. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm, that tastes good. Okay, cucumber, as I said, we played with it a little bit during the break, and, you know, that's going to change. You can make the same soup in June, July, and August, and it's going to taste different each time because the cucumbers are going to taste different each time. As the season progresses, things kind of change. So don't be afraid to play with it, taste it. Shanghai somebody into the kitchen to taste it for you. Oh, 
Oh. I may not be able to eat it, but I can certainly enjoy it. And then, a nice little berry soup. Let's put these in little shot glasses. This is kind of rich, so you don't need a whole lot of it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So, this is what I do in Connie's Kitchen up here at Treetop Lodge. If you want to come and do it with me or just sit and relax and let me do it for you, call me at 248-933-4579. Hit me up at Treetop Lodge Oxford on Facebook. Visit our gorgeous website, which has pictures of everything. Or you can email me at stormy3958 at att.net. And that, my friends, is lunch. Voila. I am very proud of this. Very simple. I mean, the chilling time, you know, if you chill things out, take the time to chill out, you're looking at probably 45 minutes when you're done prepping, 45 minutes in the fridge to properly chill. But there you have it. And I've got to taste some more of this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is so good. So experiment. Have fun. The produce is starting to come in like crazy. And you can just wander through the produce department and pick and choose and make stuff. <laughs> that's all you do. You just make stuff. So do that. Have fun. Let me know what you do. Send me your recipes and your ideas for things. And I will see you soon. Our next couple episodes will be filmed at the Unicorn Festival on June 25th. And then we will be back here for episode 30, where my husband Chris is going to join us again. So until then, enjoy. Enjoy this gorgeous weather. Enjoy the produce. Enjoy one another. And I will see you very soon. Oxford Orient Fish helps provide emergency aid to the people of Oxford, Ligorian, Addison, and Oakland Townships. One of the only self-served food banks in the state, Oxford Orient Fish provides once-a-month food supplies based on the size of the family. To donate, volunteer, or to find out more, call Oxford Orient Fish at 248-628-3933 or go to their website, OxfordOrientFish.org. Oxford Orient Fish, neighbors helping neighbors. Hi, I'm Connie from Connie's Kitchen here at Treetop Lodge. Come up and join me for a relaxing afternoon or an evening or a weekend. This is one of my favorite places to come when the lodge is quiet. I'm down in the gathering room. I've got the woods behind me. The deer will be coming in soon. It's just a very peaceful place to spend a little time with my friend Alistair. So join me here at the lodge. Join me on OCTV. And let's have some fun together and relax. Regardless of the weather, we're always here. See you soon. TV. Hi, I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Terry Stiles. Did you know that Charter Channel 191 and AT&T Channel 99 are the only television stations you can find all the events and news just for you? Oxford News This Week is your news closer to home. Catch us right here weekdays at noon, 6.30 and 11 p.m. and weekends at noon and 11 p.m. See, See you, you there. there.